Hey guys, in this video I will explain you about singular value decomposition. So this is the given matrix A. So we will decompose the given matrix A into a product of U sigma V transpose. The first step is computation of the matrix V. Consider the matrix A transpose A. So we have to find the value of A transpose A. So now A transpose A is 2, 0, 0, 3. Next we have to find eigenvalues and eigenvectors for the matrix A transpose A. So let lambda square minus S1 lambda plus S2 is equal to 0 be the characteristic equation of the matrix A transpose A. Here S1 is a trace of the matrix A transpose into A. So here trace is sum of diagonal elements. So 2 plus 3 that is 5. Next S2 is the determinant of the matrix A transpose A. So here determinant value is 2 3s are 6. Now the characteristic equation obtained is lambda square minus 5 lambda plus 6 is equal to 0. After solving this, we, we will get lambdas equal to 3 and 2. So for SVD, we have to write the eigenvalues in the decreasing order. Next, we will find the eigenvectors for the corresponding eigenvalues. Here I have taken x1 is equal to ab as the eigenvector. So then uh, a transpose a x1 must be equal to lambda x1. We have obtained two equations after solving this. Since both equations are same, consider equation number 1 and put random values for A and B and that should satisfy both the equations. So here I have taken A as 0 and B as 1. And that 0 and 1 are satisfying both the equations. So the eigenvector obtained is 0, 1. Next we have to normalize this eigenvector, means divide each element of the matrix by its length. Here the length is 1, so 0 by 1, 1 by 1. So how do we find the length means root of first element 0 square plus 1 square that is 1. So the normalized eigenvector is 0, 1. Similarly I have found the eigenvector for lambda is equal to 2. So we have found the normalized eigenvectors for the corresponding eigenvalues. So our V matrix is 0, 1, 1, 0. Next we have to find V transpose. So V transpose is the same as V as here V is a symmetric matrix. Step 2 is computation of sigma matrix. Here order of sigma must be equal to order of A. That is size of A and size of sigma should be the same. Next we will find singular value sigma 1 and sigma 2. Sigma 1 is equal to root of lambda 1. That is root 3. Sigma 2 is equal to root of lambda 2. That is root 2. Number of non-zero eigenvalues are must be equal to the rank of the matrix. Here number of non-zero eigenvalues are 2. Therefore rank is equal to 2.
Next, sigma matrix is written in this form where sigma 1 is a diagonal matrix whose diagonal entries are sigma 1 and sigma 2. Order of the matrix sigma 1 is R cross R that is R is rank. So here rank is 2 so 2 cross 2. Therefore the matrix sigma is equal to sigma 1. Sigma 1 is what diagonal matrix whose diagonal entries are sigma 1 and sigma 2. So root 3 0 0 root 2 0 0. So why we are adding 0 in the third row? Because order of sigma should be equal to order of A. So this is a sigma matrix. Step 3 is computation of matrix U. So for finding matrix U, consider the matrix A into A transpose. So we have to find the value of A into A transpose. Next we will find eigenvalues and eigenvectors for this matrix A A transpose. Let lambda cube minus S1 lambda square plus S2 lambda minus S3 is equal to 0 be the characteristic equation of the matrix A A transpose. Here S1 is trace of the matrix A A transpose. So trace is sum of diagonal elements so 2 plus 1 plus 2 that is 5. S2 is sum of minors of diagonal elements of the matrix A A transpose. Value of S2 is 1 plus 4 plus 1 that is 6. S3 is determinant of the matrix A A transpose. So 2 into 1 minus 1 into 2 which is equal to 0. So the obtained characteristic equation is lambda cube minus 5 lambda square plus 6 lambda is equal to 0. We have to solve this cubic equation using factorization method. So here the factor is 2. So the eigenvalues obtained are 2, 0, 3. In SVD, we have to write those eigenvalues in the decreasing order. Next, we have to find eigenvectors for the corresponding eigenvalues. We have to solve these three equations. Consider the first two equations. First write the coefficients of B, then coefficients of C, then coefficients of A and then again write the coefficients of B. Next we have to cross multiply. So A by 1 is equal to B by 1 
is equal to c by 1 the, so the values of a b c are 1 comma 1 comma 1 therefore x1 is equal to 1 1 1 next we have to normalize this eigenvector so n of x1 is equal to 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 Similarly, the other two normalized eigenvectors for the corresponding eigenvalues are found. So we have found the normalized eigenvectors. So u can be written as 1 by root 3, 1 by root 3, 1 by root 3, 1 by root 2, 0 minus 1 by root 2, 1 by root 6, minus 2 by root 6, 1 by root 6. So this is our u matrix.